Hey everybody, welcome back to Q-Tips. We are the Video Store Junkies and we are back once again to bring you a few selections to watch over the weekend on streaming. And we're going to get right into this and I'm going to send this over to Zach. Oh, wow. Thank you, Renee. Unexpected, but um, <laughs> caught me off guard there. So, well, <laughs> I'm actually going to start this episode with uh, an unusual recommendation. And uh, that is that you should cancel all of your streaming services and go outside and just uh, or read a book or, or do something. Spend some time with your family. Um, I know that they miss you. They haven't seen you in so long. Because uh, hot off the presses, Renee, I don't know if you've seen this. Hot off the presses, well... As of this recording, it's it's not going to be hot off this presses on the uh, hot off the presses on Friday, but uh, the WGA has gone on strike for the first time in 15 years. Now, what does that mean? Um, it means that uh, the the writers of all the filmed entertainment that you enjoy on all these uh, streaming services want to actually be paid uh, for you watching them. And uh, the uh, you know the Reed Hastings and the uh, what's his name Zaslav or whatever. Uh, they, they do not want to give up their yachts uh, to pay the writer. So uh, they've gone on strike. And so uh, you can look forward to a lot of reality TV in the uh, near future if this if this strike goes on. Um, well, I, I should say even more reality TV. Yeah. Uh, so just just look forward to basically in uh, six months if this if this strike is not resolved quickly in six, six months, uh, I predict that Netflix will just be like wall to wall. Love is blind. So, um, anyways, <laughs> um, I will get into my first recommendation here. That's just some hot industry news that I've been following today. So, and scary. I know everyone, really everyone, scary. I know everyone comes to us for the hot industry news. <laughs> so I had to keep everyone updated. Um, no, so so the, my my first recommendation is uh, something actually something that I've I've recommended before. So it's kind of a redo. It's kind of a repeat, which I try not to do, but. Uh, I've done the homework, okay, because I actually uh, rewatched the entirety of this show over the weekend, uh, which Ooh. was not too hard because it's uh, six half-hour episodes. It is one of the greatest comedy series of all time, and I'm, of course, talking about Garth Marenghi's Dark Place. And this is a <laughs> show, uh, yeah, this is a show that was uh, uh, shot in the uh, in the 80s by, of course, Garth Marenghi, one of the best-known horror writers. And it was shelved for a long time, but uh, it was brought back in 2004. And Garth Marenghi himself uh, did did some uh, introductions and interviews to all the episodes. Uh, it is one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. Like I said, I mean, it's only six episodes, and it's kind of perfect though because, like, there's no there are no bad episodes, so it's uh, it's quality television. Uh, if you like like bad. 80s or not even bad 80s but there's something about they, they nail the aesthetic so so well like 80s uh like british tv or just like 80s like low budget tv in general that's really great uh it's got uh some uh people if, if you're into british comedy you've probably uh seen matthew holness who's the main character garth Marenghi, and then uh richard aoti aoti i'm probably god i cannot pronounce his name uh from the it crowd i probably should have looked that up and matt berry who's now on uh, what we do in the Shad Shadows TV show. So uh, that is my first recommendation, Garth Marenghi's Dark Place. And following with my recommendation of canceling all of your streaming services, you can actually watch this for free on YouTube, which is uh, what I found out this weekend because I did not have access to any other streaming services. But I found it, all six episodes on YouTube. Um, so you can go watch it there. Um, or if, if you, if you've canceled your streaming services, but you still have some time on them, because obviously everyone took my recommendation, um, that you gotta, you gotta, you know, finish out the month. So, uh, you can also catch this on Prime Video, Peacock, and Pluto TV. So, um, that's my first recommendation, Garth Marenghi's Dark Place. Just look up Dark Place, all one word, because I'm not going to try to spell uh, Marenghi. Uh, <laughs> and that's it. Uh, and I will... Uh, oh, who should I pass this to? Um, I will pass this over to uh, Renee. Oh, my gosh. Well, thank you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to... You know what? I'm going to meet you halfway on this one, because I, too, am going to recommend something that I have recommended in the past. But holy moly, it was two years ago, and I cannot believe it's been that long. So this movie is called Dolls. It is from 1987. It was directed by Stuart Gordon. And so essentially there is this young girl, and she's on a trip with her family, and their car breaks down. And so they find, they see this mansion, you know, in the distance as a haven that they can go to. And there's a delightful elderly couple that lives in this house. And 
during the course of the night, there's a big storm that comes in and a few other travelers get stranded. They all end up at this house. There's good guys and bad guys. And there's lots of toys and lots of dolls. And they make things right at the end of the day. That's what the dolls do. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's it's just ridiculous. It's, you know, it's a good fashion, good old fashioned uh, horror comedy. It's got some great practical effects. I honestly think there's some pretty good performances in this. The little girl, uh, Carrie Lorraine, played the main character, Judy. I am fairly certain that she was completely traumatized during the making of this movie, which is why she stopped acting. But otherwise, really good movie. I thought she was great. I don't normally like kids in movies, but I really enjoyed her. Uh, Again, this movie is called Dolls. It's available on Tubi and Pluto. And I'll pass this back to you, Zach. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Uh, by the way, I think I think it's safe to keep your Tubi subscriptions uh, because A, I don't think Tubi has subscriptions, and mm-hmm. um, B, uh, I don't think Tubi is run by a billionaire with a yacht. So um, <laughs> I think I think you're safe if you want to keep watching things on Tubi. Uh, so we can we can keep recommending things on there. Um, so uh, because uh, people may have guessed by now that it's only the two of us uh, today. <laughs> Uh, I had to come up with a third recommendation. So I'm going to do something a little weird here. I'm actually going to do uh, a double recommendation. And uh, it's going to be of two movies that I actually have not watched. Okay. And uh, why am I doing this? Well, it actually connects back to Garth Marenghi's Dark Place. Because I, I was going back and looking up uh, some of the, the 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 actors in it and other stuff they had done. And I actually realized that uh, two of the actors in uh, Garth Marenghi's Dark Place had actually directed movies that have been kind of uh, on my radar or on my list uh, that I just haven't watched yet. So uh, we're going to start with uh, part one of my recommendation is going to be for Prevenge. Uh, This is apparently a movie. uh, I'm just going to read the synopsis because I can't tell you what it's about because I haven't seen it. Uh, The synopsis says, A pregnant widow, believing herself to be guided by her unborn child, embarks on a homicidal rampage. Uh, Renee, have you seen this one? I have not. You have not. Okay, okay. Uh, So the reason I'm recommending this is because it is uh, actually written and directed by Alice Lowe, uh, who is the one of the other stars of Garth Marenghi's Dark Place. So uh, maybe I'll check that one out this weekend. Uh, The second recommendation I'm going to make is actually uh, directed by Matthew Holliness himself, uh, aka Garth Marenghi, and this is one that has definitely been on my on my list for a while. Uh, but I just have not gotten around to watching it. The name of the movie is Possum. Uh, is this one? Uh, have you seen this one, Renee? No. No. But, okay. Oh my god! I I almost watched it this weekend. Oh wow! Well, I guess literally what? Literally have the tab <laughs> still open in my browser. Perfect. Well, you, oh. maybe this upcoming weekend you can you can listen to this episode and then and then watch it. I will. <laughs> I, I should mention Prevenge <laughs> is available on Shutter. Um, and Possum, uh, so I'm just going to read the, 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 the synopsis here. Uh, a disgraced children's puppeteer, which we know we love puppets on this podcast, mm-hmm. uh, re- returns to his childhood home and is forced to confront his wicked stepfather and the secrets that have tortured him his entire life. Uh, all I really know about this movie is that I think that actually the reason I haven't watched it is because the, the poster legitimately creeps me out. Um, and I've seen some scre- screenshots from it that actually kind of creep me out. So uh, I've actually stayed away from it because I'm like, oh, that, that looks like it might actually scare me. Um, so anyways, this one, uh, Possum, is available on good old Tubi, uh, Voodoo, uh, Redbox, Plex, and Freebie. And I think it may, might, maybe it's on Shutter. I don't know. Uh, the site I use to look these things up is sometimes a little confusing. Uh, so it, it might be on Shutter. If not, you can you know go, go watch it on, on Tubi as you should be watching all of your movies. Uh, so that that is my second uh, very very uh, weird uh, recommendation. I'm sorry, I'm being very unorthodox here, Renee. I'm just winging it because uh, we've been uh, let down by by our our other co-hosts. Um, but speaking of uh, disgraced children's puppeteers, Renee, what's your second pick <laughs> for this weekend? Oh, it could have been. I could have been something. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. So my next movie also includes a bit of an imaginary friend component. This movie is called Benny Loves You. Now, I will tell you, it's a little bit, so it is on a streaming service, not the most common. It's on Fubo, Showtime, and DirecTV. So, you know, it might be something that if you're up to renting it, 
But you know, Amazon, you get that delayed shipping so you can get a little credit and two ninety nine, no problem. You'll knock it out in no no time. And <laughs> so this it's about a boy named Jack. Oh, I should also mention that this movie was written, directed, and starring Carl Holt. And Carl is a young man named Jack. And when he was a little boy, he was really scared that monsters were going to get him when he was asleep. And his mom gave him this little stuffed animal named Benny. And Benny would protect him and keep him safe forever. And he does. (laughs) So that's the movie. It is really great. It's hilarious. It is really gory. It is... Oh, it's really fun, and the performances are great. Uh, it's just it's just a good time. So yeah, this movie is called Benny Loves You. It's from 2019. Again, written, directed, and starring Carl Holt. And you can watch that on Fubo or Showtime, DirecTV. You can also rent it on Amazon or Vudu. Uh, yeah, so I'll pass this back over to Zach if you have a, a oh. third recommendation for us. Uh, not only do I have a third recommendation, but this is actually something I have seen, uh, so I can I can <laughs> recommend it legitimately. And uh, this is this is a this is a perfect example, folks, of the the sort of uh, uh, hidden gems that we bring you on this podcast because this is something I just found totally randomly, and it is a show that I am now absolutely in love with. I think there have been uh, four episodes so far. I think there are going to be three or four more. Uh, again, short show, short show, uh, short episodes, 25 minutes, so you can probably binge it in a weekend. Uh, but, Renee, you know what? You know what really sucks? You know what one of the worst hmm. feelings in the world is? Hmm. Getting fired. Oh, you know? yeah. And not not that I know that uh, feeling personally, because I've been perfect at every job I've ever had. So, of course. Um, but I'm, I've been told it's, it's a very, very bad feeling. Um, but you know what would suck more than getting fired, Renee? Hmm. Uh, getting fired on Mars, uh, which is <laughs> the name of the show. I'm recommending Fired on Mars. It's a uh, fairly new animated comedy starring Luke Wilson as a uh, graphic designer who uh, works on Mars and he gets fired from his job, <laughs> uh, which makes for some very, uh, uh, very awkward instances for him. Uh, this is such it's it's. I started watching it thinking it was just going to be like another kind of goofy off the wall adult strip, uh, adult swim comedy, and it's definitely funny. It's definitely got some some laughs, but I don't know. There's something about it. Uh, maybe it's the fact that I just love Luke Wilson, and I will watch. I mean, he's just uh, he's just perfect. I mean, he's just he's just as the like down on his luck every man. It's just the ideal role for him. I uh, love him. Uh, Steven Roots in a couple episodes. Obviously, I love him. Uh, but this is just, I don't know, there's just something something about this show that's like, it's kind of, de- it's depressing, it's funny, it's, uh, I don't know, it's, it's there's something about it that, that's, that's really kind of grabbed me. Uh, it's very unexpected, but it's it's like cynical, but it's also hopeful. It's, it's just a, a really interesting combination. Uh, it's also like an ongoing uh, story. So it's not like uh, these are just standalone episodes. So it's kind of a, a, a cool serialized story. So once again, uh, the name of the show is Fired on Mars. Uh, as much as I hate to do this, I am recommending something on HBO Max, uh, soon to be Max. Uh, so what you should do is, you know, get a free subscription or something, a free month. I don't recommend uh, giving David Zaslav any more of your money, but um, get, yeah, I, I have an excuse. I get it for free. Uh, I have a free subscription through another service, so I can't help it, folks. Okay, I I, I would love to show solidarity, but I'm going to keep watching stuff on there. Um, but you, all you other people, you should uh, cancel your subscriptions. Um, no, uh, so yeah, that's my my final recommendation. Again, hidden gem. I don't I, I don't know even how I found this. I think I was maybe watching something or also clicking around, but uh, I have not heard a single person talk about this show or mention it anywhere. No. So yeah, highly recommend it. Um, and speaking of things that I highly recommend, well, I, uh, Renee, do you have another recommendation? Well, you know, I, I did not originally, but I figured since it is just the two of us, I'll throw out a third. Cause I you know people are really hankering for, <laughs> for some extra suggestions, especially for me. So, <laughs> but I promise this is like a real movie. So <laughs> not that the other ones were. As if we, yeah. yeah, yeah. How dare you besmirch the good name of dolls? <laughs> oh, so this movie is from 2019. It also is about 
a young child with an imaginary friend. And this movie is called Z. And you can watch it on Shudder, AMC Plus, or DirecTV. And uh, basically, it's a family that finds themselves terrorized by their child's imaginary friend. So that's my short and sweet recommendation for the movie Z. So are you going to sing us out? Uh, you know what? I actually am. Uh, Renee, I have a a song lined up. I've been practicing for this. I actually forgot that Paul wasn't going to be here, so I was expecting to have to uh, fight him for the privilege. But, Ooh. hey, he's not here. So, uh, suck it, Paul, if you're listening. I know you're not. <laughs> um, but if you are. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna get, I'm actually going to sing one of my favorite songs uh, from Garth Marenghi's Dark Place and probably one of my favorite songs from that, that uh, series because it's, I think, the only song in the series. Um, but uh, I'm going to sing uh, One Track Lover as sung by uh, Matt Berry. <clears throat> Here we go. I'm a one track lover down a two way lane, driving fast on the highway. Must have been insane. Cause the temperature's too hot. Traveling way too fast. And I know our loving was too hot to last. There you go. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed that one. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sure the fans will be very happy. <laughs> For the weekend of May 5th, I recommended Dolls, available on Tubi and Pluto, and Benny Loves You, available on Fubo, Showtime, and DirecTV, and Z, available on Shudder and DirecTV. Zachary recommended Garth Marenghi's Dark Place, available on Prime Video, Peacock, Tubi, and YouTube, and Possum, available on Tubi, Shudder, Redbox, Freebie, and Vudu. And Prevenge, available on Shudder. And Fired on Mars, available on HBO Max. I actually, I actually almost sung, there's the, the most uh, recent episode of uh, Fired on Mars. Are, are you familiar with Seals Crazy? Yeah, oh my god. It's like, yeah, are, are, you, are you familiar with that song at all? Yes. Th- yeah. there's, a, there's a phenomenal oh, montage song. sequence, and they play that song over it. I was like, oh my god. Are you joking? Yeah, it's amazing. It's actually, it's actually, <laughs> I don't want to spoil anything for you, but it's a whole, way, it's, it, it is one of the greatest, like, montage sequences I've seen in a long time. It's, uh, I won't say anything else, but yeah, it's great. The door, the door, the door. Sanch, open the door. Open the door, Sanch, Sanch. I'm a one-track lover Down a two-way lane Driving fast on the highway Must have been insane Cause the temperature's too high Traveling way too fast